Originally, there was no controversy in history with regard to the fact that Dao Yu Dao belongs to China. However, with the rise of Japan in modern times and with the gradual rise of militarism in Japan, Japan began to claim possession of many territories that had not belonged to it. In 1872, Japan turned the Ryukyu Kingdom into Ryukyu Han, forcibly making Ryukyu a vassal state of Japan. In 1879, Japan forcibly announced the annexation of Ryukyu and changed its name to Okinawa Prefecture. Japan has since cast greedy eyes on China's Dao Yu Dao. In 1884, five years after Japan's annexation of Ryukyu, Koga Shiro, a Japanese engaged in fishing industry, claimed the discovery of the uninhabited island and applied for Japanese government's permission to rent the island. Japan's attempts to occupy Dao Yu Dao were clearly recorded in Japan diplomatic documents compiled by the Japanese Foreign Ministry. Relevant documents evidently show that the Japanese government intended to occupy Dao Yu Dao, but refrained from acting impetuously as it was fully aware of China's sovereignty over these islands. Japan waged the Sino-Japanese War ten years later in 1894. Towards the end of November that year, Japanese forces seized the Chinese port of Lushan, then known as Port Arthur, and the Japanese government was convinced that they would win the war. The Japanese Minister of Internal Affairs, Yasushi Nomura, wrote to Foreign Minister Mutsu Munumitsu in December that the circumstances have now changed and called for a decision by the cabinet on the issue of setting up sovereignty markers in Dao Yu Dao and incorporating the island into Japan's territory. On January 14, 1895, Ito Hirobumi, then Japanese Prime Minister, held a cabinet meeting in secrecy. Without informing the Chinese, Japan unilaterally decided to put Dao Yu Dao under the jurisdiction of Okinawa Prefecture and didn't make its moves public to the international community afterwards. In this way, Japan stole China's Dao Yu Dao under the smoke of gunpowder of the Sino-Japanese War. On April 17, 1895, the defeated Qing government was forced to sign the Treaty of Shimonoseki, ceding Taiwan and its affiliated islands, including Dao Yu Dao, to the Japanese. Japan went to great pains to deceive the public. After successfully stealing Dao Yu Dao, the Japanese government leased it to the Koga family free of charge for 30 years and then sold them to the family. Japan didn't call these islands Senkaku Islands until 1900. Having seized Dao Yu Dao through illegal means, Japan postponed time and again, officially marking Dao Yu Dao as part of its territory on its maps. Zibankosu in 1937, Japan's war of aggression against China broke out in an all-around way. In December 1941, the Pacific War erupted. On December 1, 1943, China, the United Kingdom, and the United States jointly issued the Cairo Declaration, which stated in explicit terms that all the territories Japan has stolen from the Chinese, such as Manchuria, Formosa, Taiwan, and the Pescadores, shall be restored to the Republic of China. Japan will also be expelled from all other territories which she has taken by violence and greed. In July 1945, China, the United Kingdom, and the United States jointly issued the Potsdam Proclamation, which stated in Article 8, the terms of the Cairo Declaration shall be carried out and Japanese sovereignty shall be limited to the islands of Honshu, Hokkaido, Kyushu, Shikoku, and such minor islands as we determine. This was less than one month before Japan announced its unconditional surrender in August 1945. Es gibt in der Potsdamer Erklärung keine genaue Auflistung aller Territorien, die nach dem Kriegsende wieder an China zurückfallen sollen. Es wird nur die Manchurei und Taiwan namentlich genannt. Und zusätzlich wird erwähnt, dass alle Gebiete, die von Japan besetzt wurden, auch schon in den 30er Jahren des 20. Jahrhunderts, wieder zurückfallen sollen an China. On September 2, 1945, 
The Japanese government accepted the Potsdam Proclamation in explicit terms with the Japanese instrument of surrender and pledged to faithfully fulfill the obligations enshrined in the provisions of the Potsdam Proclamation. The Potsdam Proclamation and the Cairo Declaration thus became the legal basis for Dao Yu Dao's return to China's sovereignty. On January 29, 1946, the Supreme Commander for the Allied Powers Instruction, SCAPIM number 677, clearly defined Japan's power of administration to include the four main islands of Japan, Hokkaido, Honshu, Kyushu, and Shikoku, and the approximately 1,000 smaller adjacent islands, including the Tsushima Islands and the Ryukyu Islands north of the 30th parallel of north latitude. By limiting Japan's territory to north of the 30th parallel of north latitude, it clearly defines that the southwestern part of Japan does not include Daoyu Dao and its affiliated islands. In 1958, the Chinese government released a statement on the territorial Sea, announcing that Taiwan and its adjacent islands belong to China. However, with the arrival of the Cold War, the United States strengthened its strategic deployment in East Asia and at the same time changed its policy toward Japan. On September 4, 1951, the United States and a number of other countries met for the peace conference with Japan in San Francisco. China was not invited. Before the conference, the Chinese government issued a statement, if the People's Republic of China is excluded from the preparation, formulation, and signing of the peace treaty with Japan, it will, no matter what its content and outcome are, be regarded as illegal and therefore invalid by the Central People's Government. Japan, the United States, and other countries signed the Treaty of Peace with Japan. Commonly known as the Treaty of San Francisco, the treaty placed the Nancy Islands south of the 29th parallel of North Latitude under United Nations trusteeship with the United States as the sole administering authority. It should be pointed out that the Nansei Islands placed under the administration of the United States in the Treaty of Peace with Japan did not include Daoyu Dao. China has never recognized the San Francisco Peace Treaty since its beginning. From the perspective of international convention, it has no legally binding force. Article 34 of the Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties, 1969, stipulates a treaty does not create either obligations or rights for a third state without its consent. 用这个西方阵营的成员和日本签订了一个旧金山合约，结束了以美军为主的盟军总部对日本占领。但这个过程当中，排除了饱受战争祸患的，并且是这个抗日战争、反法西战争重要力量的中国在外，那就本身就是违